Super tasty filling is placed inside cabbage leaves and folded into soup dumplings. Then they are steamed into super juicy and succulent. If you like any dumplings, you'll be sure to enjoy my cabbage soup dumplings. They're over the top delicious. Let's get started. I have prepared some cabbage leaves. It is totally fine that they are slightly torn off and look ununiformly. In a pot of water over high heat, bring it to a boil and boil the cabbage leaves for about 3 minutes until softened. Gently remove them and place them in cold water to stop cooking. Also blanch the Chinese stripes for about 30 seconds. Reserve 1 cup of the vegetable boil liquid. Remove the chives and place them in cold water to stop cooking. Discard the water and drain. In a mixing bowl, add the ground pork and slowly add in the cool down reserved vegetable boil liquid. By doing so, our filling is going to be super tender and juicy. Mix together until the pork absorbs all the liquid. Then add the soy sauce, oyster sauce, white pepper, sesame oil, and egg. Mix well. Lastly, add the scallions and Chinese chives and mix well. You can also replace them with other herbs and vegetables that you enjoy. Add a large cabbage leaf on the bottom and a small piece on top. Add about one tablespoon of the filling in the center. Gather and fold the cabbage leaves together. Wrap a piece of Chinese chive around it and tie a knot. Trim off the extra length. Did you know that in Chinese, the word for food is shi? It was coming from the oracle bone script. The upper part is the mouth and the lower part is the container of food. But to my understanding, the upper part is the word person, ren, and the lower part is the word good, liang. So I believe in order to cook good food, one must become a good person first. Comment below and let me know what you think about this. Cover the lid and steam until completely cooked through for about 10 minutes. You might be wondering why I call them soup dumplings. When you steam the cabbage leaves, they will release lots of juice. The juice will be still inside the dumplings, and therefore, soup dumplings. Carefully remove the plate. In a small pan over medium heat, pour in the actual liquid from the plate. Bring it to a simmer. Season it with salt. Add the cornstarch slurry. I have here a teaspoon of cornstarch and one tablespoon of water. Stir until thickened. Drizzle the sauce over the soup dumplings. Enjoy! It is really amazing when the filling is so juicy, tender, and full of umami taste. Subscribe, follow, and like, and I will see you again soon. Bye!